And what's going on? It's your boy Joe Fontaine, the Joe Fontaine Music, and I'm back on machine. I just got an email with a quick question in regards to how to do a custom mapping for easier access to your uh, your plugins, which uh, actually intrigued me to the point that you know I came up with an idea. I said, you know what? That's a great idea because you can have um, custom mappings for plugins that have multiple pages where you don't actually need to access some of those pages, which you can save those templates and it can make a great workflow in the future. But um, to give you a better understanding of what I mean, for example, I have a massive plug in here and I have an acid base um, set up like this right here. All right, pretty uh, bugged out sound, great for dubstep and things of that nature. But on massive, okay, you have generally 16 to 17 pages of mappings. So on your hardware controller, if you look down at your hardware controllers, you, you'll notice those pages on the right hand side of your screen. In this particular on this particular situation, the first tab would be massive. So let's say if you wanted to, you know, go to your cutoff or your 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 effects filter, or you know, if you want to move a certain macro control or insert or feedback or you know, basically these custom macro knobs which are mapped out on the machine controller. But let's say you don't want to go through all those pages on your hardware controller, you might only need to access maybe five, six, or maybe eight of uh, certain parameters on this plugin. So to make a better workflow, what you can do is you can add, you can create your own uh, custom mapping by adding a page and then you can save that default, which makes life a lot easier in the future. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. For example, here's the massive plugin right here. Here's your pages. If I go down, if I go down here to where it says add a page, okay, these eight macro uh, knobs come up. Now this is similar to map, mapping macro controls because essentially it's what you're doing. Because if you look down your hardware controller right now, if you added this page, you'll notice in the left screen and the right screen of your hardware controller that everything is set at 50%. There's eight macro controls that are assignable, but they're already mapped. See. I have my hardware controller on, which is why you're seeing that move. But you can see right here, each knob is moving independently and they're pre-mapped. The macros, they come like that in machine. Okay, so let's say if I wanted to assign, let's say this cutoff filter, but let's say we go to the first knob here and we right click on it. What you can do, normally what we would do is we would assign macro controls. Let me get this out of the way. Normally what we would do is we would assign macro controls like so, but in this particular situation, we're going to press learn plugin parameter. Okay. Now the plugin parameter that I want this to learn is going to be the, the cutoff filter over here. So I just simply touch this and you see, as soon as I touch, um, the cutoff filter on the, on, on the massive plugin, you notice down there, it says filter one cutoff. Look over here on massive filter one cutoff. Now, if you look down at your hardware controller, on the left hand screen where it says page 17, the first knob is going to say filter one cutoff. So if I move that knob or rather if I move this knob over here, you see it moving. Very important. Now you have to move this knob here with the mouse first. I'm pretty sure of that if not just, you know, move the knob on your hardware control. I think you have to move the knob here on the plugin itself to get it going. Now, when I use my hardware controller, watch, I'll just put my mouse over here. Show what I'm talking about. The knob moves. So now, it's mapping. Okay. So, you know, it works the same. So, if I want to go over here to the dry wet, I could do another one. Right click, get this out of the way a little bit. Right click, go to learn parameter, dry wet, it assigns. It's moving, get the mouse out the way. Now I can move it over here. So now I have two knobs that are assigned. Now I'm sorry if the mic's picking it up. Uh, you might get a little distortion in that because this mic that I have right now is pretty sensitive. You know, I could be pretty much like way back here and it is still picking me up. So I hope that didn't sound too bad. So you begin to notice how doing that 
and then you come over here on massive file save as you know and then you can come back later and you know you can have your massive options you can you know name it you know things of that nature if you got custom MIDI effects you know or rather I would just save this like this right here save it in the computer or another way would be inside of a machine you can right click here and you can save your, your custom effects and things of that nature and machine will go ahead and save those for you so when you're uh, browsing through your browse button and your modules you can go in there and actually browse through your effects and you know go through your custom presets so you, so you know this can make life pretty easy because you have eight uh, assignable uh, macros here so that makes life easier when you want to just access certain areas of, of your uh, of your plugs because you know a lot of times we don't want to go through each and every page scrolling back and forth on machine of course you have that option so, you know, that's just a versatile option. I figured I'd just share with you, you know, because it's, it's not just for that, because I mean, another great area to cover would be, let's say, for example, in your plugins, um, let's say, for example, I'm looking for something that would make sense. Um, just give me a sec. See if I was doing some mastering or something like that. Let's go ahead and pull. Okay, for example, you know, if we were doing some some mastering, let's say if we need to assign, you know, the gain or perhaps the ratio or or the threshold. You know it can come in handy that way too <clears throat> because we might have a certain EQ or a compressor on a master channel and we might need access to certain plugins so this would be a great way to do that or perhaps another great example would be let's say if we were doing an in EQ Okay, so another great example, you know, for example, if we're on the master channel and let's say we only need access to, let's say like the bass or the treble, you know, or, or the mid in, in the frequency, these custom mappings would, would come in handy instead of having to go through, let's say six, seven pages just to get to, let's say the phases or, um, you know, or, or a certain filter, you know, it makes life a lot easier when you could just have a custom page, the process just repeats, you just add the page, you just map what you need. And get basically the meat and the potatoes on on one page so i thought that was a pretty cool tip so again this is your boy joe fontaine or joe fontaine music be sure to um, check me out on my web page which is www.digitalmusic.yolasite.com i have a vip membership that is available it's only 9.99 which locks you in for a lifetime subscription of free drum kits uh free beats free custom controller editor templates for uh let's say like reason um pro tools machine as well as ableton live 8 I have custom session files for Ableton Live as well as machines, as well as Pro Tools, which makes your workflow go a lot faster and a lot easier. So again, be sure to check me out on my webpage, www.digitalmusic.yolosite.com. And I need to update some of the data on there because what we're doing actually is we're going to be um, leaving the VIP. We're going to be leaving the VIP membership at $9.99 and that's it. Um, so you guys don't have to worry about it. I was saying after March, it was going to be... Uh, the 1999 yeah, we you know we got such a great response for the VIP membership at 999 we decided to just go ahead and just leave it at 999 so we're gonna leave the doors open like that for you guys and I will see you guys in the next one you guys have a great day peace <laughs>